This is Gary Butterfield. This is Cole Ross. This is Monster in My Podcast. And this is the Hydra. Hail Hydra. There's a monster in my podcast. Yeah. Um, it, it is always okay to punch a Hydra. Um, <laughs> I've got a wide chest. What? Don't infringe on my... I'm talking for the Hydra. <laughs> okay. We're, we've got a wide... I guess I'm changing the subject. <laughs> oh, you notice how wide my chest is? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's good. You look like you got some good uh, lung capacity going there. That's a, that, 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 that is an asset. <laughs> Ooh, man, if you were like trying to be an astronaut, you would keep that ball up there for a long time. That's true. Yeah. That, that, and what an exhausting test that is. Uh, yeah. Uh, most of that seems pretty exhausting to me, actually. Yeah. Being an astronaut is hard work. Yeah. Hard, thankless work. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like like an, like an astronaut. Our greatest American hero. Yeah. Is I was going to say. Get enough credit. Yeah. Like an astronaut. Veterans like, day. Why isn't there an astronaut's day? You know what? Actually, why isn't there an astronaut's day? It does seem like there should be like like it, officially there should be like space day or something. Like yeah, that. just make it uh make it Neil Armstrong's birthday or something like that. Like, oh, yeah. it's astronaut's day. Everybody goes around singing each other Neil Armstrongs. Yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> One of the worst vacations I ever had uh, was going to Wapakoneta, Ohio, which is the birthplace of Neil Armstrong, and they have like museums there. Like, hey, it's the you know it's the Ohio, you know aeronautical or whatever spacecraft museum thinking all right great this is going to be awesome you're a little kid you're gonna eat some you're gonna eat some uh, cheese it's and they're gonna call it space pizza that's fine uh what they don't tell you about that place is that the other industry besides uh museum gift shop tchotchkes is literal pig shit it is a town that when you're trying to swim at your holiday inn uh, if the if the breeze goes the wrong way because of the pig farms and the shit lagoons, uh, it is impossible to be outside. It was a wow. terrible vacation. Do not That's, go to Wapakoneta, Ohio. That sounds pretty rough. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, like pigs got a shit. Like I get it, but right. Yeah. I, I never feel good in a hotel pool if it's outside anyway. Like but, an indoor hotel pool just oh. feels like cool. Like, yeah. Fogged yeah. up windows. It's got that smell. Like <laughs> that the, smell. The, like, like I know that, exactly what you mean. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like it's a very I, specific kind of thing. I, I always associate that smell with, play, with, uh, with, with, uh, playing and hearing the sounds of Arkanoid because yeah. the hotel we went to always had the Arkanoid machine right by the pool. I'm going to treat myself to a hotel stay for no reason. I, I'm like, maybe I should like take a bus some, to a town in urban and stay the night <laughs> in a hotel and just like do hotel shit. Yep. I'm going to go to Vancouver, Washington and I'm going to stay. <laughs> yeah. I always wanted to stay in Oregon. In a La Quinta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm just like, that's kind of, kind of sounds nice right now. Yeah. Um, hydras are hydras. Yeah. Like, this, this is a very this, slight entry. Yeah. There's not, there's hydras. And then depending on what kind of thing it's going to breathe, uh, it gets a different entry but it's very on the nose like right a pyrohydra what do you think that does mm. how about a cryohydra <laughs> you know it, it, it's it's real it's pretty pretty obvious yeah uh and there's no real ecology to this thing no um it, you know despite the hydra's uh size and multiple attacks they're often preyed on by dragons they're impossible to train that's the extent of how this thing fits into the world like it doesn't this it doesn't talk about the heads may argue amongst themselves or you know they can't because it, it's kind of smart like it's <laughs> it's more than animal intelligent yeah you know so do they always agree do they have separate minds like do they all share one like hive brain in their butt you know like how do these <laughs> things work you know yeah no but like most of this is just like describing okay you you kind of know what a hydra is here like here's the way the heads work have fun. yeah do you want to incorporate this into your campaign? Here's how to make this work for D&D. Yes. Here, here is the name for the kind of Hydra that you know that regenerates twice as fast. Yep. Yeah. The um, Hydras are something I've never thought was cool until Dark Souls. Oh, yeah. And then that Hydra, even though that's like a, a real lesser boss battle and there's like not that much to it, mm-hmm. that's kind of what did it did Hydras for me. Like gave me the sense of scale and made them cool to me. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's even like a really weird Hydra, like when you get down to the one in Ash Lake and it can uh, jump over you yeah. and, and you realize that it's nothing but flipper from yeah, the neck down. Yeah, see the, see the weird underbody. It's like when a hermit crab leaves its shell. <laughs> oh, that's what's under there. <laughs> just like, because this one just looks like a low, flat, like wide boy. Yeah, yeah. You know? It, lo- it looks like a, it looks like a, uh, if, if a dragon was a pan flute. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. Did I have to <laughs> sink in? No, yeah, yeah. I was just like, yeah, it did. I was just like, <laughs> but that work. But it did make me imagine, like, one, like a really cool hydra-shaped flute. Okay. Uh, but then also like 
a really cool hydro shaped bong. Yeah, no, it's it's like a hookah almost. Yeah. Like everybody can everybody can like pull off of it. Although for if you're doing like you know seven different people at once, you're gonna have to have some kind of motorized component to this. Like yeah, this, is, really, this is a bong you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to start like a lawnmower. You get a, a cryo hookah, and then it can it can cool. The, the machinery within oh no what happened to dennis yeah his lungs shattered he took a hit of nit- nitrous no <laughs> no not nitrous um liquid nitrogen <laughs> yeah he mixed, he mixed up the chambers yeah. Yeah. he got final destination by the hydro bomb <laughs> <laughs> brought to you by our backers at patreon.com slash duckfeed tv